All of us have heard this phrase. Hate your job? Just go and find your passion. But is finding passion alone going to get you happiness or is there something else to this equation? Hi guys, welcome back to Grow Awesome and today we are going to do an amazing exercise that will help you to find your purpose. And before we proceed, please click the link below in the description box and download your free worksheet for this exercise. Let's get started. When it comes to answering the question, what should I do to be happy? A lot of other questions arise. Should I pursue more money to be happy? Should I just follow my passion and will money automatically follow? Or should I just leave everything and find that happiness within me? The answer to these questions were found centuries back. Okinawa, a village in Japan that is home to like largest centenarian population in the world has something in common, the magic formula for long life, I mean long and happy life and that is Ikigai. Ikigai totally has eight components to it. We will see each of them one by one. The first phase will have four components. The first out of the four components is doing what you love. Now, each of us have a long list of things that we love. It could be simple things to complex things. For some, it is just listening to a music. For some, it's reading an interesting book. And for some, it could be working on a puzzle. This kind of activity which actually help us to be present and mindful and it's something that we would love to do without even realizing that we are doing it for a very very long time. So the first step to find your Ikigai is to list down all these activities which you just love to do. The second component to this equation is something the world needs. So the world needs a lot of things and while most of us who work in 9 to 5 job really don't know what we are, whatever we are doing, is it actually creating a positive impact to the world? So let me take a moment to tell you my personal story. After my engineering, I actually joined an MNC with more than 10 lakh employees and I was given a small role which I was doing and of course I was paid well for that. But the problem is within few days, my excitement was lost because I really don't know if I'm adding any value to any people. Tomorrow, if I'm going to stop doing what I'm doing, nothing changes. So this is the feeling that I got. So after that, what I did is I went to my higher studies. So post my higher studies, I joined a relatively smaller company and I started to work there. There I was able to actually see the impact that I was creating and how I'm improving an individual's life. So this gave me immense satisfaction. So the basic idea here is do something what the world needs. Do something that creates positive impact in the world. The third component to this is something that you can be paid well for. Well, people might say that money is not required. Money can't buy you happiness. But let's be practical and realistic. Money is something that is going to help you buy food, water, shelter and all the other things to live comfortably. So if we don't have enough money, we'll definitely not be spending our time happy. Rather, we'll be spending our time worrying about money and dealing with all the uncertainties that comes with it. So we really need to live comfortably to create a positive impact and help others. And in this era, money can help you buy that comfort. The fourth component to it is something that you're good at. Now, all the things that you like, you may not be good at. For example, you might like to listen to music. You might love music, but then you will not be able to sing unless you have properly undergone the training and you practice day in and day out and develop that skill. So there is a set of skills that you have, which you are really good at. And that is what you should list down here in this section. And remember, any skill can be acquired. If you think that you need to acquire a skill, you can actually have a plan of acquiring it as well in the near future. So now that we have completed the four major component in phase one, let's move to phase two. The first component in phase two is something that we all know of, that is passion. What is passion? Passion is something that you're really good at and something that you love doing. For example, say cooking. You really love cooking 
and you are also a really good cook then cooking could be one of your passions so a person might have more than one passion as well the right thing to do is sort of figure out what is common between these two segments and then start listing them down the second point in the section is mission now what's mission mission is something that you love doing and something that the world needs say that you love cooking and the world needs good healthy food then there is a common point between these two things and that is going to be your mission helping people consume healthy food the third part to it is profession now profession is something that we all know something that you're really good at and someone is willing to pay for it for example uh, going back to the same cooking example you're really good at cooking say your neighbor who is currently not with the family and doesn't have the time to cook for himself might ask you to prepare dinner for himself as well and he is willing to pay for that now this is a profession so the next point is vocation vocation is something that the world needs and something somebody is willing to pay for it for example if you have a small terrace garden and you cultivate vegetables organically there could be an organic shop in your street who is willing to procure from you to sell in their store and then maybe would like to pay for you for that so this is a vocation so combining all these things leads you to a ikigai that is you are very good at cooking and you love cooking and world definitely needs healthy food and there is someone who is ready to pay for it so combining all this you can come up with list of things that you could play at it could be something like you are starting a business which delivers home cooked food to bachelors or it could be something like you are coming up with ready to cook items which is very very healthy and preservative free for busy working people or it could be you come up with some food related blog and and youtube channel where you actually share a lot of recipes related to healthy food and cooking also it could be something like um, say taking classes to people and kids on weekend related to cooking so it just goes on and on right so you can just analyze the pros and cons in each of them and maybe you know come up with things that you want to do list of experiments and projects that you want to do and finally finalize on the things that you want to take up so finding your ikigai is actually not an overnight process it can't happen in hours or days or weeks it might even take you years but what's important is to start your journey towards finding your ikigai and be open to changes that comes your way I hope you liked this video. Thumbs up is the best compliment you can give me. Please like and share this video with someone whom you think will add value. And also don't forget to subscribe to Grow Awesome. And if you have any questions related to it, please feel free to comment below and let me know. I will answer as much as I know. And thank you so much for your time. Hope you find your ikigai soon. Have a nice day. Bye bye.